So welcome to Bern. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, who of you has, has not heard one of the last following three statements? Statement number one, climate change is a myth. Ideological and financial reasons are behind the invention of climate change. Number two, the NASA agency staged the US moon landings in a film studio in Hollywood with the involvement of director Stanley Kubrick. Number three, our planet is not a sphere. Evidence supporting this theory has been suppressed to hide the fact that Earth is instead flat. Furthermore, GPS devices are rigged to make aircraft pilots wrongly believe that they are flying around a globe. <laughs> these are neither my statements or my opinions. Of course, these are only three of too many, too many conspiracy theories. There are currently disturbing amounts of weird people and even politicians worldwide, not only supporting such nonsense, but also helping to spread conspiracy theories only to push and promote their own political goals. Spreading conspiracy theories is unfortunately en vogue again. Moreover, thanks to the modern ways of communication, spreading conspiracy theories has never been easier before than today. This should be of great concern to all of us because we don't live in the dark ages anymore. Almost anybody has access to any kind of knowledge today, anytime. So we should all know better. Manipulating people and promoting obscure and false theories is an act of irresponsibility of a few individuals. So my name is Alec von Grafenried. I'm a mayor of the city of Bern, and I am personally a fan of the Age of Enlightenment. I believe society evolves through scientific progress and philosophical debate. I believe in democracy, I believe in the rule of law, and in a society committed to education. Good politics should always rely on the evidence of statistics and on scientific research. Scientific evidence should always serve as the base for any important political decision. The city of Bern and its government are committed to education. The city is not only an important local center of education, but also the home of University of Bern, an important center of study and research in Europe with a long tradition and history. In the year of 1848, many Republican revolutions took place all over Europe. All of them failed except the Swiss Revolution. Modern Switzerland was founded and Bern became the capital of modern democratic Switzerland. With the adoption of the Swiss Constitution on the 12th of September 1848, Switzerland became an island of freedom and democracy in the middle of Europe's monarchies. The freedom of scientific research was very attractive for researchers from all over the world, mainly Europe. The University of Bern had been founded in 1834. As there were very little Swiss professors, the majority of professors came from abroad, of course, from Europe. Women, too, came to Switzerland to study. Why? Because it was possible. So Anna Tumarkin, born in 1875 in Russia, a naturalized Swiss philosopher, in the year of 1906, was the first woman to become a professor at the University of Bern. She was also the first woman in Europe who examined doctoral candidates and the first woman to become a member of the Senate of a university in Europe, the University of Bern. The most important scientific moment in the history of Bern, however, just happened when Anna Tumarkin became a professor in 1905, the year 1905 was the Annus Mirabilis, the miracle year for sciences in Bern. It was the year when Albert Einstein published four articles in the Annalen der Physik, a scientific journal. These four articles contributed substantially to the foundation of modern physics and changed views on space, time, mass, and energy. 
Einstein wrote those four articles within half a year. The four articles, one of them treated for the first time the theory of relativity, were beneath the 10 articles in physics with the most citations in the 20th century. Many years have passed, but Einstein's theories remain valid and continue to be a great value to scientific research. Go visit the Einstein House in the old city of Bern or the Einstein Museum in Bern Historical Museum. You have a map where you can find all these sites in the city of Bern. The University of Bern has ac academic activities in many areas, but 50 years after Einstein's activities in Bern, Professor Johannes Geis was making astrophysics in Bern great again. As you certainly know, we are currently celebrating the 50 uh, anniversary of the first landing on the moon, and we will speak about that uh, right afterwards. Therefore, the moon landing is not only a subject for conspiracy theories, the moon landing was also a game-changing event for the University of Bern. The University of Bern was the only non-US university participating with experiments in all moon landings after Apollo 11. Professor Johannes Geis had developed a foil, a, a solar sail, with which the sun winds on the moon could be analyzed. And this sail was uh, participating in all moon landings. And it was even placed on the moon before the American flag. Space research still is one of the main focuses of high-end research in Bern today. The Division of Space Research and Planetology participates in NASA, ESA, and Roscosmos spacecraft missions. At the end of June, we will celebrate the 50 years anniversary of the landing on the moon with astronauts and researchers from all over the world and the summit meeting the directors of NASA and ESA space agencies here in Bern. In my opinion, the city of Bern is a perfect place to study, to work, and to live. You have all you need, but there is not too much. In Bern, you have time to think, to talk, and to read. Three essential things to lead a balanced life. In return, you are not stuck in traffic for hours uh, every day, for example. In Bern, everything you need is ready to reach in a short distance. I confess, of course, I love the city of Bern, I love Switzerland, I love Europe too. I also believe that the European Union, and today we are May 8th, so uh, today is Europe Day, I also believe that the European Union is not perfect. Nobody does. But just let me tell you one thing. The European Union is the best thing that had ever happened to Europe. Up to this day, Switzerland does, as you know, not belong to the European Union. Some Sw Swiss think this is fortunate, others think this is rather unfortunate. I belong to the second group. Whatever side we may be on concerning the European question, most Swiss agree upon one thing. We think, we still think, that Switzerland is in the geographical center of Europe. We are partly Northern Europe, partly Southern Europe. We're situated between East and West. We share languages with all our neighbors in the North, the South, the sea, East and the West. Just as Switzerland is in the heart of Europe, Bern is in the heart of Switzerland. Hence, Bern is the heart of Europe. And this, dear ladies and gentlemen, is neither a scientific fact or a conspiracy theory. It is nothing more than the strong belief of a proud major, mayor. Let me say you loud and clear, welcome to Bern, welcome to the heart of Europe. Thank you for your attention and enjoy your stay in Bern.